everyone, it is Avatar here. Um, yeah, if you saw my last video, this was the thumbnail. It was me standing here with, like, the words test for and execute commands, command science. Um, yeah, this is what I used to make my thumbnail. Just built a little throne out of the fan blocks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was that. Um, welcome back to this video, I guess. Um, so yeah, welcome back, um, last time I did the test for and execute command, today I'm going to be doing a command that lots of people seem to struggle with, just because it's like really confusing and intricate, I guess, not sure if I said that right, but, um, it's the scoreboard command, and now a lot of people get mixed up with this command, just because of all the things that you can do with it, and like, um, all that stuff. So, just like last time, I'll be showing you the basics of the command, um, how to use it, um, and then I will show you some things that I did with it. I will show you, one of the main things that I'll show you is I'll go over to a different world that I made, and I'll show you something called the slash trigger, which is, it's a part of scoreboard, because so, the scoreboard command is so huge. It's, like, ridiculous. So... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are those command blocks? Gone. Has something happened to them? Is a question that may never be answered. Okay, so the scoreboard command, basically what you can do with it is you can set objectives, and it's really good for server making because the objectives, you can set, like, a lifetime objective, you can set a, um... You can set just objectives for, like, stat.use item, or you can just set an objective that's dummy. So that way, whenever someone walks over something, it adds something to their score, and then it does something to them, I guess. Or, like, whenever they um, right-click, then it detects it, sort of. So, today I'll be showing you sort of how to use it. So, the basics of the command is you want to type in scoreboard. Um, Actually, I don't need to do this in here. So type in slash scoreboard. Oh, I was hitting caps lock, not tab. Scoreboard, and then you'll have three tabs after this. Objectives, players, or teams. So objectives is how you add things. This is the main, this is what you're going to do first at every, like, command sort of thing. Everything that you want to do. Then you have list, add, remove, or set display. List will list all the objectives that you have, like, currently. Add will add a new one, remove will remove one, and set display will, like, I'm not sure if you've been on, like, high pixel or, um, like, the hive or something, but you'll see, like, over here in this, like, on the side of the screen, you'll see, like, your stats. That's a scoreboard. So that's what set display does. You can set it in the list, the tab list. You can set it over here. You can set it above players' names for, like, health. So for this one, we're going to be doing add. And you know what? With that health, I'm going to do that. So we'll go health. This is where your name, where you'll name it. So you'll you'll do scoreboard objectives add. Then you'll have your the name that you want to name it. So I just put health. Then if you hit tab, which I highly advise you not to, if you have kind of a laggy computer, because it does this. Yeah, it like basically yeah yeah um that that's that's that. There's so many scores. So for this one, I'm going to be using stat dot um. Oh geez, what was it? Yeah, look, look at look at all this. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Um, should we do stat? Uh, is there a health? Maybe no. Uh, damage. Damage taken. Yeah, let's do that. So it'll say new objective health. Um, added new objective health successfully. So if we go ahead and take that back and we go scoreboard. Um, scoreboard objectives list. See, it'll say showing one objective objective on the scoreboard. Health displays the health and is type um displays as health and it and is type stat dot taken damage. So if we do that again and we go to set display, then we can do like below name. Um, which this is one that you're gonna want to do. This is the one that I'm gonna do because if you're making like a health thing, um. List is up in the tab menu. Sidebar is over here. 
Below name is um, under your name, so like whenever you're in your FNF5 menu, or like whenever another player sees you, that's what it'll look like. Um, then there's like, um, then there is um, sidebar.team.black. Um, that means that only the black team can see the sidebar. Only the black team can see that. So if I do that, go to FNF5. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Um, maybe it's in this. Oh, man. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I'll improvise. I'll show you that. But it, it it's going to be like below the name. Like, whenever you have your name uh, sort of like up here, it'll be below that. Yeah, that, that's, that's basically what that, that is. Um, so yeah, that's how you, um, add the objective, uh, list the objectives that you have, just in case, like, you have a ton of them, and then set the display. So now some cool things that you can do with the objectives is, let's see, if I add a new one here, um, let's do, should we do, um, let's, let's add a dummy. So what a dummy does is, um, a dummy... A, a dummy objective can only be triggered by command blocks. This is the one that you're going to be using probably the most um, for scores or something like that. Um, yeah, basically. Oh, I have an idea. If we do scoreboard uh, objectives, set display, sidebar, health. What? There's nothing there. Am I just being dumb here? Sidebar. What if we do list? List. Ah, there it is. It had to be triggered. Alright, I'll see. Okay, so see how it says avatar is zero? Because I've taken no damage. If I go into um, game mode S real quick and take some damage, see? That zombie just did uh, fifth, uh, 30 damage to me. There's 60, 90, and I'm pretty sure if I do this, then see? Okay. Yeah. That's that. So that's, I guess you wouldn't use that for health, uh, stat dot damage taken. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what you would use, really. But this, like the dummy objective, that's really, really, really useful uh, for... That's really extremely useful for, um, like, teleporting, uh, like, one, like, a villager to only one player without having to know their name. Or, like, um, setting tags or stuff. So, let's do something here. We'll say, um, here, I have an idea. Uh, let me build a quick ring here. I'll be back in a second. And we're back. And through the magic of digital editing, there we go. We've got a ring. So inside this ring, let's spawn in a, mush a mushroom cow. So a mushroom, basically. And then we'll go time, set, day. So this um, particular guy um, will, let's see. I have an idea. Okay, so this is two blocks, and this is three blocks. Uh, let's, ju let's just say three blocks. So if we do, um, effect, um, at E, and this is one of the cool things you can do. Um, this is like a tag sort of thing. It's not really a tag, but it's like, um, sort of a separator. So you could do score underscore dummy underscore minimum equals one. Minecraft invisibility. And we're going to give it um, to them for three seconds, two, five, five, T-R-U-E. Again, the true takes away particles. Oh, geez, this is lopsided. That's going to really annoy me. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's do R equals five there. Yeah, I guess that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this mushroom cow 
is going to get some invisibility. So if we go into F5, just so that way you can see that I'm not turning invisible, we'll go slash score scoreboard players set at E type equals not a player comma R equals five um, dummy to one. Ready? And there he goes. See, he's completely invisible. Now this really long, here just a second, fn of 3 plus d, this really long uh, number name thing, that's the name of the mushroom cow. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if we do that again, oh, man, scoreboard, players, set, avatar, dummy, one. Now I'm invisible. But then if we do that and do... Um, set them as zero. Soon I will, the effect will be gone, and there I am. See? Yeah. And then we can go ahead and go F5. So that's one of the things that you can do with it. Like, you can give certain things of, um, effects. You can teleport them somewhere only if they have, like, a certain score. Um, let me think. Some of the, um, some of the, I guess, Wait a minute. There is a criteria health. What? Okay. Um, never mind about that. But, um, trying to think of the things that I've done with them. Um, m let me see. I know I've done that trigger thing, and I'll show you that. But I'm trying to think of other things that can be useful. Oh, I know. So, we'll just leave him there. We're gonna go... Scoreboard, objectives, remove, dummy. There we go. And you'll see that he comes back. There he is. Alright, now let's go with... I've, I've showed you all of the objectives one. Now let's go with players. So in players, you have the option of set, add, remove, reset, list, enable, test, operation, tag. So set, um, as you can see, will set them to a certain score. So, like, if you say set 5, it'll set them to 5. If they have 6, they'll go down to 5. If they have 4, they'll go up to 5. It sets them as that certain score. Add will add them. So if they have, if you say add 5 and they have 4, they'll go up to 9. If they have 6, they'll go up to 11. It'll add 5 no matter what. Remove is like subtracting. So if you remove 5 and they have 11, they'll go down to 6. Reset, like, resets the player on the scoreboard, so it takes away all of the stuff that the player might have, and it kind of, like, reboots the player, sort of. Now, list, I'm gonna have to check that one out. I don't actually... Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, list, basically what list does is it, um, as you can see there, it shows you the scores of the player. So it'll, my health, 180, it'll, it could say dummy, one, you know, stuff like that. So that's list. Now enable is for tag, or er, triggers mostly, because um, the triggers, they have to be enabled for the player. So that way, like, you can enable them for one player, but not the other. That's what enable is there for. I'm not sure what test is. Oh, jeez. What just happened? Okay, te oh. test. Oh. Um, test. Sorry about that again. So, test. Let's do test avatar. Hmm. Test av avatar. Uh, 1 1. No, 1 1 80. Oh, okay. So, it tests within if they're within a score range. That way, like, you can monitor all the players that you're, um, like, that are on your server or something like that. Now, operation, it will, like, multiply. So if you, like, multiply one, then it'll multiply their score by one. If you do divide, you know, operation, avatar, health. Um, let's do times, avatar, health. Yeah. So 180 times 180, operation applied successfully. And now we can go to scoreboard players list. 
to see how much I have. List avatars. Now I have 32,400 health. So that's what operation does. And tag, um, I might make this an, a different video. I'll give you sort of a basic, though. So if we do tag avataric, this kind of adds like another objective, sort of. Except it's not an objective. So tag add, we can go FTFT, just randomly. So now I'll have the tag FTFT. So now, like, if I were to TP only people with the tag FTFT to a certain location, you'll see, um, if you saw my first, like, my very first video, the intro to command science thing, uh, you'll know that I use tags for that, for, like, kits, that way you can't get another kit, it'll add the tag, you know, all that stuff. So that's the players tab. Now if we go over to the teams tab, I'm sorry if this is kind of a long video, but... Teams tag has add, remove, join, leave, empty, list, option. So add will add a different team. So let's say let's add team purple. Yeah, okay. So now that team purple is added, we'll, we'll go with, um, let's add another team here. Add blue. Okay. So now we have two teams. Um. I just added that blue team so I can remove team blue, and then you'll see it, it has removed team blue. And now there is, um, join. So say that, um, I, I'll join purple, yeah, I'll do that. So now you'll see, okay, we don't actually have a color yet, but, um, yeah. So I just joined team purple, that's how to get people to join teams, or like, leave is to leave teams, um, empty is to empty that team so there's no one in it anymore. Um, list is to list how many teams there are, and option, this is probably one of the coolest ones, so we'll do option, team purple, so we can do color, which means it'll change the color of the team, I'll probably change it to purple, um, after I'm done telling what they do, friendly fire means that you can't hit the other team, or the other, your other teammates, see friendly invisibles means that if there's any one on your team that is invisible, you'll be able to see them, name tag visibility means that, meaning, um, you can see their name tags and stuff, but others might not be able to. Death message visibility, meaning that other teams won't be able to um, see their death, death messages, only you will, only your team will. Then collision rule, this one's kind of interesting. I also used this, um, yeah, I also mentioned it in um, the first video, I believe, um, with the right click detection. Um, this means that like you can't push your, others, your other player off a cliff. So say, say that you're playing Sky Wars on the Hive, um, I think they set you as teams, though you can't push each other off the cliff or, like, off a bridge. You just walk right through them. So let's go to color. Um, so you'll see all the different colors. Oh, man, I just skipped it. Oh, that's ridiculous. Red, purple. Alright, so team, purple. So now my name is purple, if you can see up there. Um, now whenever it shows up as anything, so I'll go, like, hi... See, it'll say that mine, it'll um, show that my name is purple and all that. So that's basically what the color does. I'm not going to do all the other ones because that would be way too hard. But I might, no, never mind. So yeah, that's teams. So now to kind of end out the video, I'm going to go over and hop into um, one of my other worlds where I, um, I was doing a trigger, like, so it's kind of like custom commands. Um, why are you guys levitating? Okay, so it's kind of like a custom command type thing. I might be doing a video on that next. I'm not sure. I know there was, there's a few videos out there of custom commands. You can go ahead and check them out. Yeah, just look up custom commands. So, alright. I'm gonna hop over into this other world. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, um, I'm back. This is one of the other worlds. That I was talking about. And this right here that I'm building, um, I'm just gonna finish building it up real quick while I explain what's going on. So I'm not sure if, if any of you have played Hermitcraft before. It's a fun game, you should probably check, check it out. It's amazing. I play it all the time. It's really fun. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Just look it up. But they have different districts. So like they have red district, blue district, purple district, you know, all that stuff. And they use nether portals to get around. I find that really, really interesting, like how they do that. But 
I couldn't find out how to use the nether portals. I couldn't find out how to link them together. So if any of you know how to do that, please post it down in the comments. I would be very grateful for that. But yeah, I, I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I just decided to use custom commands. Now this is not my idea, I'm just going to say it first. Like, straight up. This was not my idea. Oh, I forgot the other guy's name, but I will leave a link to his video in the description. Um, it's a really cool concept using the trigger command. Um, and the cool thing is, if there if there's like a player on your server that's not opt, he can he or she can still use that command, which is really cool. They can still use the trigger command. So I will show you some of the things that I've done. So if we do slash trigger, and this is another scoreboard. Here, I'll show you it real quick. Uh, scoreboard, objectives, add. Let's just add high. The criteria type, you have to just type in trigger. So that's one of the other ones. Now what this will do is whenever someone types in slash trigger high set one, it'll set them to one. So it's kind of like using the set, the player's set, but people that are not opt can use it, and that's what it does. So I'm not actually going to add that because um, I don't really need that. But I'll show you some of the things that I've been doing. So if we do slash um, trigger district, let's go to district blue because I'm already in district red. Um, add or set, doesn't really matter, and then one. This is the only thing that I really dislike about this command. Um, cause the reason why I decided to try this out was because, um, I knew about bucket commands and all that, but I wanted to see if there's any way to do that in Minecraft without having to install bucket commands, and this was the closest that I could get, so this is what I did. So, in Hermitcraft, they have those poles over there, there's one right there, um, in the server that I play on, and whenever you say, like, visit District Blue, it'll, um, take you to District Blue. So, like, if I do this, it will... Say, it. welcome to District Blue, and now I am in District Blue. See? Here is one of my brother's houses. I can't believe they already got an, en an enchantment table. And, locked chest. I might show you that, just as a quick little video. Um, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It is a really cool concept, though, because only, like, a certain player can be able to open it. So, yeah. that That's pretty cool, I thought. Um... I'll show you the command list. I'm not going to actually show you how to do it. Um, you'll have to go check out that other guy. And again, I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description. But this is basically all it is. Just a few command blocks with a uh, comparator and then repeaters running this line of command blocks. I know I could have used change, chain command blocks. Didn't really feel like doing that, though. Now that I think of it, it probably would have been the better idea. But whatever. So yeah, that's what it does. Um, I'll just give you a little hint. This one tests for the trigger. This one act, um, does the action. This one does a tell raw. And then this one clears the score. So I'll show you it again. Um, I can be anywhere. Um, because I have two brothers, actually. One of them wanted to live in District Blue because he had already made his... He had, he had already claimed his spot and all that. See? He already claimed his area. He already has his chest here that's locked because I can't open it because I'm not him. He already had all that. Um, but my other brother, whenever I made District Red, since that's his favorite color, he wanted to live there. And he, my, um, this brother, he didn't really want to move, so I decided to make this to make it easier. So if we go like this, let's do District Red, add one. Now we'll go over to District Red. See? And it'll say, welcome to Red District, and now I'm on top of the pole, and then there's that thing that I was building. So, yeah. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope it was helpful because I had a, a really fun time making this video. Oh, whoops. That never happened. There we go. So yeah, I had a really fun time making this video just because I like showing off some of the things that I've done. I think it's pretty cool. And I would love to see, like, you guys do some of that stuff. So you could, like, post on in the comments, like, one of your videos. Rain, come on, ruin the moment. There we go. So yeah, you can guys can post down in the uh the comments. Just make a video. Um, send it to me of um you just showing off some of the stuff that you've done. Um, I think it's really cool. I really like sharing ideas like this. Um, hope you guys like. Please slam that like button. Just whack it, whack it. Um, so yeah, slam that like button. Um. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and um, leave a comment. I really like listening to, uh, well, I guess reading your comments. I really like doing that. Um, it makes me feel 
good, I guess, whenever I get, like, really nice comments. And, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. See you soon.